Okay, this is Bob from RBC Gunsmithing. This is video number three in the CZ241 disassembly video. Um, while we were off camera, I, I pushed the dowel back in here and, uh, and put a little bit of pressure on that to pop the follower uh, through from the inside. And I'm sorry, that was bad instruction in the second video for removing this. Technically, you would, you would remove this sheet metal retainer you would remove the dowel, and then when you take the stock off, then this would just simply come out the front like that. So I'm sorry about that. That's a correction. And uh, so now where we're at is we're down to the receiver and the trigger group assembly. And so now we're going to get a screwdriver. We're going to take this apart. It's just one screw that holds it in. And uh, you can see it wasn't real tight, but the gun is pretty old, so um, I imagine it's loosened up just a little bit. So. needs to come forward doesn't look very glamorous does it but that's the way it goes it takes a little bit to get it out of there there we go because the the back end is the back end is hooked underneath this steel part and this thing is in there with just years and years and years of of dirt so um, here's your your trigger group this one is dirty um, it's made out of aluminum and in fact the the aluminum uh, that these are made from was uh, taken from uh, scrap aircraft propellers from the Allied planes, from the Allied bombers that were shot down in World War II. So, there we go. That's that's that part. And uh, I'm going to put a piece back here because it, it came out while I was tapping on that. And we don't want that. Okay. So the next thing is the slide release. Okay. The action release. And that mechanism is is right here in the side of the gun and the way that's going to come out is you can you can tip this up this piece is under spring pressure and you just tip this piece up and take it out okay it has a round pivot on the back side and then after you've done that <clears throat> then we'll find a little pick to get in here and and keep keep this controlled because you don't want to lose the spring or the keeper that's underneath it okay so that's a little spring and keeper for the action release and then I believe that this should it's either going to slide all the way down there we go yep slide all the way down and and pop out so there's the action or bolt stop Okay. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, take the, the breech bolt out of the action. And in order to do that, you need to take out this screw. And this screw was actually peened in at the factory right here to keep it from turning. It looks like someone has turned this one because typically they peened it in line with the screwdriver slot. So I, it appears that it possibly has been out uh, before. So we're going to select a screwdriver here that'll be the right size and we're going to take this screw out. And we don't want to mess anything up. There it went. Okay. 
you always try and keep control of that tip of that screwdriver so that uh, if for some reason it slips it doesn't go flying across the bench out of control okay so now this is this is maybe the maybe the trickiest part you have to you have to um, move this op handle back but at the same time you have to do it with the gun uh, in an upside I believe in an upside down position so that the bolt lock now you can see that I'm moving able to move this backwards that bolt lock needs to be able to go up this this lock inside the breech bolt I'm sorry it's not very good very easy to see um, but once I get the bolt out I'll show you what I'm talking about here and uh, You have to you have to push down on a on a spring loaded pivot. You have to push down on this little spring loaded pivot in order to get that free from the action. And and what I was trying to show you inside the gun is this is the the lock, the locking block in the breech bolt. And where'd my handle go? Oh, it's still in here. Okay. And so if the, when the handle is in, if that block is down, you'll see that it gets captured in this area. So you have to have that screw out and have the locking block up in order to give the handle a clear path to get out. And let me see if I can slide this back in and give you an idea. See, it won't go in with the block down but it will with the block up and conversely it won't come out with the block down but it will if the block is up okay so so that's that's an important piece right there the first time I took one of these apart about 25 years ago I think I scratched my head at the bench for about a week uh, trying to figure out how this actually came apart so at this point, we're going to stop. We're going to come back with video four in a minute.